All right, so now it's time to switch over to the NFC. And I like these matchups a lot. I actually think these are going to be the best games of the weekend, starting on Sunday at 1 p.m. with the uh, Saints hosting the Vikings. This game is going to be better than a lot of people think, and here's why. I think the Vikings actually have the pieces in place to be able to upset the Saints. Will they do it? Ultimately, will come down to Kirk Cousins and how healthy their offense is because they need Dalvin Cook to be back. They need Adam Thielen to be back. They need their secondary to get a little healthy as Xavier Rhodes has been a little hurt. But if they find a way to control the ball, run the ball the way they can, the way they did early in the season with Dalvin Cook, this could be a tricky matchup for the Saints because the Saints are banged up on their defensive line, and I think they could have trouble with the play-action pass of the Vikings if, again, they get the running game going. I'm going to take the Saints in this game. I think the Saints have been one of the better teams this year, but it also speaks to how good the NFC has been that uh, a team, you know, this good has to play in the first round of the playoffs. But I like the Saints ultimately because Drew Brees, because Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, all the weapons and all the creativity that Sean Payton puts into that offense. I'm taking the Saints, but I think it's going to be a really good game. I think Kirk Cousins will shock some people on uh, Sunday. And I think ultimately the Vikings lose by a field goal. I'm going to call it 27-24. New Orleans wins and probably what will be the best game of Wild Card Weekend. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk.